There are two important things you always want when using a MIDI flip controller. One, your switches need to clearly show you which preset is active. And two, your switches stay in sync with each other, accurately reflecting which effects are engaged or bypassed. This used to be slightly complicated to achieve, but it is now all easily done with the new toggle grouping feature on your Morningstar controller. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we cover something that most users will want to achieve when using a Morningstar MIDI controller, and that is having the different foot switches on your controller interact with each other to accurately reflect the state of your presets and effects. With the latest firmware 3.12, we've made this really easy. And not just for the MC6 Pro, but also for all Morningstar MIDI controllers, including the MC3, 6, and 8. For toggle groups to work, the switches being used must either have toggle mode enabled or have an action that toggles it. If you don't know what toggle switches are or how to set them up, watch this video first and come back to this one later. Also linked in the description below if you prefer to watch it after. When editing a preset on the editor, you'll see a button labeled Toggle Group. Upon clicking it, you'll see a drop-down list of toggle groups. And when you scroll further down, you'll find Toggle Reset Groups. We'll be covering both of these today, starting with Toggle Groups. In this bank, I have six switches set up to perform different functions. In the top row, I have three different preset sounds, and in the bottom row, I have Engage Bypass switches to toggle these pedals on and off. We'll be focusing on the bottom row for this example. In the next bank, I have another six switches, but with three switches having the exact same settings, performing the same functions as those in the bottom row of the previous bank. If we scroll back and forth, you'll see that the LVX, EQ2, and H90 toggle switches are present in both banks. So what happens if I engage the LVX in the first bank and then scroll to the next bank? The LVX is not shown to be engaged here. Now that's a problem because the switch is no longer in sync with the actual state of the effect. The LVX is shown to be bypassed in this bank when it is in fact engaged. And when I hit the switch, another engage message gets sent. And it does not make sense to engage a pedal that is already engaged in this case. Thankfully, we have a simple and elegant solution to this. All we need to do is add the LVX switch in the first bank to a toggle group. Let's use toggle group 1, and then add the LVX switch in the next bank to the same toggle group 1. And just like that, when I press the LVX switch in the first bank, the toggle state of the LVX switch in the second bank will also toggle and be in sync, regardless of whether I press one switch or the other. Amazing. I'll go ahead to add the EQ2 switches to toggle group 2 and the H90 switches to toggle group 3. And we now have toggle on and off switches for our effects that are always locked in sync. Toggle groups also work for switches within one bank, including those on different pages in the same bank. Next, moving on to toggle reset groups. Toggle reset groups work similarly to toggle groups, but produce the opposite result. Think of it as the anti-toggle group. When a switch in a toggle reset group is engaged, it resets the toggle states of all other switches that are in the same group. Only one switch in the group will be shown as active at any one time. Let's see how this works in practice with a very common use case. Here, I have six switches recalling different presets across these effect pedals. Each of these switches is sending out a different program change message combination. Let's take a look at the settings for one of the switches, switch A. This switch contains three program change messages, one each for these three pedals. That means when I press this switch, I get a unique combination of three different presets from these three pedals. I have toggle mode enabled for this switch so that I can toggle the background color to this beautiful tomato color that I've chosen in position two. Once more, if you don't know how to use toggle mode yet, check out the video linked below. Now, since you can only have one combination of preset tones active at any point in time, you will never want to have more than one switch showing that it is engaged. For example, this doesn't make sense because it is impossible for me to have two different pedal preset combinations at the same time, let alone even more. To achieve the desired behavior of showing only one switch active at any one time, I just need to add all six switches to the same toggle reset group. Let's start with switch A by adding it to toggle reset group 1. Click on save preset and add the rest of the switches to the same group. Now as I press any of these switches, you see that the last active switch gets disengaged and only one switch is shown as active at any given time. This way you can always clearly see which preset is currently engaged. Toggle groups and toggle reset groups are the perfect solution for you to always get an accurate visual representation of what is happening on your pedal board. We hope you found today's video useful. Do give this video a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next one.